I just be like, whoa, like, let me just, like, step back. Because, like, I don't know. Like, I really can't trust you right now because this is going on with my family. And I'm noticing this, this, and that. So, like, if they doing nothing, that's you probably doing it. Like, you probably doing the same thing. Like, oh, you know, like, I just don't want to have a hating ass person by my side because somebody that wants your spot and they in your circle like to me i just feel like that's that's weird as fuck and that's dangerous as hell like nowadays people killing their friends and stuff because they jealous of their friends or they uh friends have this and that and they don't have it like i just don't have time for the bullshit for the funny energy around me like i just don't have time for that so therefore i cut people off without even telling them what the fuck they they did and it's like well should i tell them but then again it's just like i really don't give a fuck so <laughs> i just be like mm, i don't know but just having somebody around you in your circle that want your life that's jealous that's envious of you that can't even give you a compliment on nothing that you have going on good but you always complimenting them you on a page you doing this you doing like you know what i'm saying and they never return that that type of energy no i can't fuck with you like i can't i can't fuck with you like i just can't like it's just weird y'all should i take my jacket off oh my gosh like do y'all see how the light be coming in and stuff hey y'all hey y'all i haven't been i haven't been live in a little minute should i take my jacket off and just talk to y'all and stuff yeah because i don't want to get too hot so y'all literally people been telling me girl you gonna be real hot when you are uh, pregnant and stuff and i used to be like really not nah, like i i don't want to say i really didn't believe them but it was just more so of like well that's how you felt Ooh, i might not feel that way so i really wasn't really believing them and shit really well yeah i wasn't believing them but yeah it's hot it's hot because usually i'd be like i'm cold i'm so cold but y'all like i'm hot like i'm hot that's what i had to say but i just really wanted to just come on here and vent because i need to get a youtube video well y'all i have videos in my phone that are fully edited and stuff i just don't have any thumbnails for them yet but i have videos and stuff like that for y'all i just haven't gotten around to uploading it and making a thumbnail like i don't know what it is but i'm just in a car right now this is what like a mini car monk bang while i eat my feta pasta um so got it bread just got off work left work early didn't feel like being there um like my hair see i had installed this wig two three weeks ago and i got the video on it and everything i just didn't post it i don't know what it is but yeah oh, wow. mm. i love garlic bread Oh, it's popping. <laughs> oh my god, I hope my phone don't start acting stupid. Is it hot? Because when my phone get hot, it's start fucking up. But yeah, y'all. This is just some feta pasta, you know, with some shrimp, a little bit of scallops, and the tomatoes that go with it and stuff like that. Mm. Mm. oh that's hot you know how something is like really hot and it like touch your teeth you be like oh shit that shit cold but like it's hot though like it's shit hot but yeah y'all I just I want to talk about uh, 
friends and friendship me personally I really feel like as long as I love myself and I'm fine with me I don't need anybody and I feel like that's a good thing to say but it might also be like a bad thing I don't know but I just be feeling like I don't need nobody like I really be, be feeling like I need no one like I think it's a good thing but then I also think it's kind of toxic and stuff to think that way but mm -mm. like the one thing that I I do to people as soon as somebody shows me like a little bit of like fakeness or a weird ass vibe and I'm not really fucking with it I cut you off so fast <laughs> like so fast I don't explain myself I'm quiet and I feel like I'm, I'm like that with like other people but when it comes to my family it's like I deal with the BS I deal with it and stuff cause who wanna be cutting off their like family and stuff the fuck <laughs> but when it comes to just friends and stuff oh, like, <laughs> I'm gonna cut you off so fast but really I feel like I'm such a nice sweet giving person I don't be in no one's business I'm quiet <laughs> excuse me I say to myself and all of that so when I do break out that shell and I start to talk more and you know and when I just don't receive that type of love back like it's done for you like it's done for you really it is I know what I want in a friend like I'm not wasting no more time explaining to anybody what they did wrong what this is and that is I'm not doing that no more like and yeah I want to say I have about what like three good friends but I just don't go around just throwing the word friend around I'm like oh yeah they my friend da da like no like you gotta show me that you're my uh, friend and shit this garlic bread is so good but I just be feeling like I am I don't know what it is, but I really just feel like I'm really starting to just cut people off. Even if it's family, and I hate that. I love my family to, to, to death. To the point where if we're not speaking, I get upset. I don't want to like to say that I am depressed, but I get in like a little like sad, like, you know, emotion for like a little while and stuff when I'm not speaking to my family and stuff but I just feel like ever since I got pregnant I'm just not here for the BS I'm not here for the drama I'm not here for the games I'm not here for me treating you like this and I'm doing this for you and da da, -da and you can't even return it I don't know um but honestly, growing up, I just always felt like I was the I was a loner. I was an outsider. I would y'all, <laughs> when I tell y'all, I was always quiet. Like I was always quiet. Like that's just me. Like we look, we really could be kicking it and talking and stuff like that one day and the next day 
I'm just quiet. <laughs> like I like I just that's just me. And I like to I like to test people. That might sound a little toxic, but I do. I like to test people and stuff. Like I'll do something or I'll be quiet or just whatever to just see how that person really is to see if they really truly give a fuck about me. And nine times out of ten, they really don't believe some of the shit. So I don't know y'all, I just I'm so fast to just cut people off without explaining myself and everything to the point where I'd be like, damn, well, am I being mean or like, am I being funny? But then again, it's just like, no, because I know what I want in a friend. And if I see that you're not that, there's nothing for us to discuss. There's nothing for us to just like, I don't know. All right. Um, that's what I say. Like, I be feeling like I, I don't, I don't need anyone. Like I'm fine on my own. Oh, it's on the outside. Cause I'm like, no, nah, I see a little. Oh, okay, it's on the outside. Okay, not yet. But yeah, like. And also, I feel like I have trust issues. Like, I really, really do. Like, ever since I got pregnant, I'm just really starting to just see, like, oh, <laughs> I really got some issues. Like, I don't got issues a little bit. Like, <laughs> I knew that I always had issues and stuff because, like, everybody got them and stuff. But, me... Y'all, I be feeling like, well, if a family member can treat me like this and say this about about me and be fake to me and do this and do that, anybody can do that to me. So that's when I look at everybody who I I fuck with, and then that's when I just be like, whoa, like let me just like step back because like I don't know, like I really can't trust you right now because this is going on with my family and I'm noticing this this and that so like if they doing nothing that's you probably doing it like you probably doing the same thing like y'all another thing I have social anxiety like I really 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 do like um, I'm starting to realize that a lot more cause my shower is coming up May 6th and my boyfriend has such a big family <laughs> and I know that some of my family and friends are are also going to be there as well, but I don't know. Like I, I, I think it's also a mental thing. Like me telling myself, like, oh my gosh, like I'm nervous, I'm shy, oh my gosh, I'm sweating, like, oh my gosh, like. <laughs> mm, I'm dead. I just was always like nervous and shy and quiet, like. Like, I just feel like I'm growing and I'm, I'm, I'm really starting to pinpoint what I want in a friendship, what I want in a relationship, what I want, uh, in any relationship, whether it's with family, my, uh, boyfriend, mm, 
friends, whether it's with whoever. Like, I'm just really starting to just look at shit and be like, okay, well, I want this in this relationship and I'm not getting that. So, yeah, I'm about to just pull back or, I don't know. Example. I'm a very, very supportive person. Alright. The one thing about me, I'm not a hater. Like, if... I'm trying to find, like, an example or something. Like, okay. Let's say you got... Hmm, I'm gonna just always support you like even if I don't even know you and I just know you on my like Instagram and we follow each other it really could just be like anything I'm not a hater I've never ever been that so let's say I'm always supporting what you got going on and I'm like oh my gosh I like that this is cute da, da, da. you know what I'm saying you really should like do like this or that cause that would be like cute and I have this vendor and I got this girl so like I'm gonna give it to you and da 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 and like your shit is gonna be on and popping just being supportive and stuff and when I sit back and when I think and when I'm like, whoa, this this person don't don't even support me the way that I support them. Like, um, y'all, I don't know. Like, I just know what I want in relationships with any relationship. Like, I just know what I want. And if I'm not getting that, like, I'll shy away from you. I won't talk to you. Like, and it'll just be that. Um. For so long, I wasn't that way. For so long, I just used to just let people just do whatever to me. <laughs> like, for real. Like, I had this one friend, and this was like a while back. But <clears throat> I had this one friend, and she was just weird as fuck. <laughs> like, She would never compliment me. And, and look, look, look. I hate to be calling people a hater and, and be like, oh, well, she's a hater, da, da, da. But if I see that you really hate her, like, you're weird as fuck. <laughs> because first off, I don't even be on that type of time. Like, I was always complimenting her whenever we would go out. Like, oh my gosh, girl, you look cute. Look at this. Look at your hair. Look at all this stuff, right? And whenever I got cute and we went out, she would never say anything. Whenever my hair was done and looking nice, she would never say anything. And I don't want to be like, I'm trying to like explain it though. Like, I just don't want to have a hating ass person by my side because somebody that wants your spot and they in your circle like to me I just feel like that's that's weird as fuck and that's dangerous as hell like nowadays people killing their friends and stuff because they jealous of their friends or they are uh, friends have this and that and they don't have it like I just don't have time for the bullshit for the funny energy around me like I just don't have time for that so therefore I cut people off without even telling them what the fuck they they did and it's like well should I tell them but then again it's just like I really don't give a fuck so I just be like mm, I don't know but just having somebody around you in your circle that want your life that's jealous that's envious of you that can't even give you a compliment on nothing that you have going on good but you always complimenting them you on a page you doing this you doing like 
You know what I'm saying? And they never return that that type of energy. No, I can't fuck with you. Like I can't. I can't fuck with you. Like I just can't. Like it's just weird, y'all. And then I had a another friend that was stealing from me. Well, that tried to steal from me and I caught her and stuff. Like y'all just but you see what I'm saying? Like, just weird. Like, people, like, bitches be weird as fuck. And I really, like, I really just can't see myself just having fake-ass people around me with weird-ass energy. Like, I, I can't stand that. So, that's why I'm quiet. And when I'm quiet, I observe everything. Like, please do not think that, oh, yeah, she a uh, quiet she not paying attention to this. She not looking at uh, that, da, da, da. Just because I'm quiet don't mean I'm not paying attention to shit. I be quiet for a reason. Like, <laughs> but y'all, that's it for this video. Um, Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Just remember that you the sh what a bag of chips and whatever else you want to put on the side. Not whatever else anybody else want to put on the side. Um, Yeah. Oh, y'all. Do y'all see my nails? My nails look crazy. I got two right here and one right here. It's not the middle finger, it's like this. But it's okay because I'm definitely finna have a maintenance vlog and I'm finna have a get ready with me for my shower. My shower is May 6th. Today I had booked my lash appointment. I gotta order my hair next week. I have to book somebody to do my makeup and I also gotta find my outfits and stuff. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff I gotta do. So I'm trying to bring y'all on. The journey with me to do that and stuff like that also we in the third trimester we in the third trimester but that's it for this video um i'm gonna explain some more about the third trimester and stuff like that uh, later on but yeah bye oh also please trust your gut trust your gut feeling and i always say this i've been saying this in all of my my other videos and stuff y'all don't allow your feelings to cloud your intuition. I always said that. <laughs> like, if, if you around some people or if, like, you're out and some funny stuff is going on and it's just, like, a weird-ass vibe, like, leave. Like, please leave because a lot of people are out here dying. And it's, it's, it's not it. It's not, but yeah. Bye, y'all.